Little Emma had always been an exemplary student who had never crossed the line. So when she was suddenly called to the principal's office and given a suspension letter, the entire school was shocked. As she was escorted out, Emma turned to the headmaster with fury in her eyes and asked a question that made everyone's heart skip a beat. Do you know who I am? He asked. And when the director looked her in the eyes, he realized he may have made the biggest mistake of his career. Director Jameson pretended not to have heard her and turned around, wanting to retreat to his office and close the door behind him. Had he missed something? Who was that girl? To add insult to injury, Emma shouted, You'll regret this! And she stormed out of the building, leaving everyone speechless. One of the teachers, Miss Clara, quickly entered the principal's office and closed the door behind her. Shit, Eric, what was that? Who is that girl? She whispered, completely caught off guard by what had just happened. That's what I'm going to find out now, she muttered as she rummaged through one of her drawers. Aha, uh -huh. here it is, he said when he finally found the file he was looking for, a list of all the students currently enrolled at his school. Let's see Emma in fourth grade. Emma, he mumbled as he scanned the list and searched for her name. Yes, Emma Richardson. That doesn't ring a bell, does it? Do you know anyone else named Daniels? He asked his colleague. To his disappointment, Clara shook her head. Well, maybe it's nothing. You know how kids can be sometimes. Maybe he was joking or saying something stupid. Or maybe she was just angry because she got suspended, he mused. You're probably right, Clara. I'm sure everything will be fine. Thank you, Eric responded. They would soon discover that they were both wrong. The other students had been waiting in the hallway, and as soon as Eric opened the door to his office, they quickly turned their heads and walked away, avoiding his gaze. Eric thought they were just a little surprised by what had happened, but that wasn't true. It was much worse. They knew who Emma really was. The next day, when Principal Eric returned to his office, he discovered a note that turned out to be a threat from Emma. Concerned, he inquired with his staff about anyone entering his office since yesterday, suspecting it was Emma. Disturbed by the note, Eric tried to shake it off, but found himself unable to forget about Emma. During lunch, Professor Clara informed him that Emma hadn't come to school and attempts to contact her father were unsuccessful. Worried, Eric contemplated the situation, feeling it was a disaster. Despite Clara's reassurance, he couldn't shake the nagging feeling that he had made a mistake. The day's end brought a sigh of relief. During dinner, Eric discussed Emma's suspension with his wife Sandra and daughter Lucy. Sandra reminded him of his responsibilities, while Lucy suggested hidden reasons behind Emma's actions. Alone in his study, Eric reflected on the complexity of his role and Emma's behavior. The next morning, Sandra suggested seeking information from Emma's teachers, and Jake wondered about potential personal problems at home. These discussions left Eric conflicted and questioning the impact of his decision on Emma's future. Returning to school, Eric noticed a tense atmosphere fueled by rumors about Emma's suspension. Concerned parents inundated him with calls, highlighting the challenges of his position. In a staff meeting, Eric addressed the rumors, emphasizing the importance of unity among the staff and focusing on the well-being of all students. Principal Eric assured his staff that Emma's situation was being handled carefully, but uncertainty crept into his voice. As teachers dispersed, Eric pondered the fairness of his decision and questioned if there was more to Emma's story. Miss Clara approached Eric with Emma's project, hinting at a complex family background. Preoccupied, Eric overlooked the deeper implications, missing a crucial piece of the puzzle. Reviewing Emma's project, Eric sensed an undercurrent but couldn't grasp its meaning. Frustrated, he put it aside, unaware of the important connections beneath the surface. Despite revelations, Eric remained committed to school stability, oblivious to the complex story unfolding. A formal request for a school board meeting heightened his anxiety, realizing the gravity of Emma's suspension. To prepare, Eric rehearsed justifications, but grappled with lingering doubts. Tasked with a comprehensive report, he delved into Emma's records, hoping to validate his decision. 
Surprised by Emma's exemplary academic record, Eric struggled to reconcile it with her recent defiance. The stark contrast made him question his judgment and the complexities he might have overlooked. Determined to unravel the truth, Eric investigated Emma's family background, seeking clues. Conversations with former teachers offered no revelations, leaving him without significant information. The absence of clues intensified the mystery surrounding Emma, eroding Eric's initial confidence. As parents openly questioned the school's disciplinary methods, tension grew within the school community, casting doubt on Eric's judgment and school policies. The local media's focus on Emma's suspension turned the school into a center of controversy. Media vans and journalists sought Eric's comments, leading to relentless attention and criticism. The negative impact on the school's image strained Eric's leadership. Facing community disapproval, Eric worked to defend the school's reputation, holding meetings and sending communications. The constant pressure affected Eric visibly, causing restless nights and overwhelming stress. Emma's return to school with her imposing father heightened tension. In a meeting with Emma's father, he issued warnings with undertones of disgust and veiled threats, leaving Eric unsettled. The father's enigmatic comments hinted at hidden repercussions beyond the school. Reflecting on the father's words, Eric speculated about hidden dimensions of the situation. As he gathered information about Emma's family, he began unraveling a larger, intricate narrative extending beyond the school's confines. During a tense board meeting, Eric defended the suspension with conviction but underlying unease. A casual mention that a board member knew Emma's mother caught Eric off guard, prompting questions about the unexpected revelation and its implications. The mention of Emma's mother triggered a chain of thoughts, leading Eric to connect information and approach a revelation about Emma's identity and family background. As the board meeting continued, Eric realized the remarkable nature of Emma's mother, uncovering a new aspect of the situation. The revelation about Emma's family shifted her perspective on the unfolding drama, leading Eric to reflect on the weight of his ignorance after the board meeting. His discreet investigation into Emma's family revealed her mother's political stature, reframing the suspension incident and prompting Eric to question his decision-making process. Realizing the broader implications of Emma's family background, Eric felt a mixture of fear and shame. Emma's earlier question, do you know who I am, gained new significance, highlighting the influence of her family's status. Eric acknowledged the impact of his actions on Emma, the community, and his own career. Facing the press, Eric publicly apologized to Emma's family, expressing remorse for his handling of the suspension. He admitted the dangers of bias and emphasized the importance of fair decision-making, showcasing a shift in perspective. During the press conference, Eric candidly addressed his errors and called for empathy and respect within the school community. In a meeting with Emma and her mother, tensions eased, leading to a shared desire for understanding. Emma's mother wished for her daughter to be treated like any other student, unraveling layers of complexity in the situation. Emma's forgiveness marked a turning point, emphasizing the need for empathy and respect in educational settings. The meeting concluded with a resolution to foster a more empathetic and connected school environment. Reflecting on the entire experience, Eric recognized the importance of understanding and respecting each student's unique history. The incident had profoundly altered his leadership perspective, leading to a new commitment to inclusion and understanding in his approach to education.